Welcome back. I'm Coach Zo. So far in our lessons, we've covered all different types of skills, from throwing a football to running routes. Now it's time to take all that we've learned and play a game. But before you begin a scrimmage, I just wanted to talk to you about the rules of flag football so you can step on the field prepared. The first and most important rule is that there's no contact allowed. So remember, you can't tackle or block your opponent. Instead, you'll pull one or both of the ball carrier's flags off to stop the play. Okay, now that we have that covered, let's walk through a game. To start, each team should form a huddle, just like we've practiced in our lessons. In the huddle, the quarterback needs to clearly communicate the route and who the intended receiver is for that play. Then, each team will take their position on the line of scrimmage, with one on offense and the other on defense. Typically, the offensive team will have a quarterback, a center, and the rest of the players are receivers. In our game, the defensive team will play man-to-man -man coverage, with the cornerbacks covering the receivers, the defensive line covering the center, and the safety covering the quarterback. Remember that the safety has a choice. They can stay back and help cover the receivers, or they can rush the passer at the start of the play. The offensive team's goal is to move the ball downfield toward the end zone to score a touchdown. They have four downs, meaning they have four chances to get a first down. To keep the game moving, we're actually going to play a modified version. When the offensive team completes two forward passes within the four downs, it becomes a first down. And they get another set of four downs to move the ball to the end zone. But if they fail to get a first down, then the other team gets the ball going the other direction. When the offensive team has the ball, all passes must go forward and be received beyond the line of scrimmage. If it's an offensive player's flag is pulled when they're running with the ball, their feet determine where the ball is spotted, not the flag. That means the line of scrimmage will continuously change as you're playing. Another important rule to know is that during the game, there are no fumbles. Instead, the ball stays in possession of the offense and is spotted where the ball carrier's feet were when the fumble occurred. However, interceptions are allowed. And if the defensive team intercepts the ball, is still alive and they can run with it to gain yardage. Throughout the game, penalties will be assessed by your teacher. But as a general rule of thumb, only go for the ball carrier's flag when you're on defense to limit contact on the field. I know that's a lot of rules to take in, but as you're playing, you'll start to catch on because the best part of playing flag football is, it's designed for everyone. You don't need a specific build or even prior football experience to play. If you're motivated and a team player, you can dominate on the field. So good luck, and of course, have fun. Here's your last nutrition tip. Now that you know all about healthy and delicious foods that should be on your plate, help your family plan a meal. Include your favorite nutritious food. To learn more about Fuel Up to Play 60, a leading school health and wellness program nationwide, visit www.fueluptoplay60.com. If you're interested in finding an NFL flag football league near you, visit NFLflag.com.